Hello, and welcome to Dreamfarer, a game, uh, uh, I was gonna say made by Rapitan Games, or Rapitan Books, but actually, let's see, they're not, they're not the developers, but rather, uh, I think there's a way to see the developer information, use this one, info, developers, so yeah, uh, Rabbitin Games, or Rabbitin uh, Books, rather. Rabbitin uh, Books. Uh, they translated the game, but the original developers and artists was uh, Harry Meow and Kagari Joshua. Right here. Yeah. It's a uh, short little puzzle adventure game, it seems like, with, you know, slight horror elements, it seems. You know, very slight. It's not like it's not horror like uh, focused, but it's mostly just like a puzzle adventure game, really. Right? And I guess I'm playing this because um another like Rabbitin books related game. Well, another game that they actually made, Trick and Treat. I tried playing their game uh, last stream, but I encountered a game breaking bug. You know. There's a at a time there was like a, a like a, in the story there was like a um, hidden hidden wall or hidden room where you gotta transition to the next screen and it fades to black and well my game crashes every time I I just don't know why there's like a pop up that shows up that says active movie window or something like that and then the game crashes no matter what I do right every time I like reload the save reinstall it. Um, compatibility mode, nothing really works. So, unfortunately, that playthrough will be on indefinite hiatus, right? And I won't be able to continue that playthrough, uh, which is a shame because I really started to enjoy it. Uh, but, well, instead, I'll be playing this game, Dreamfair. Let's just start right now. Let's, uh, I guess, sleep to start the dream. Oh, tips. Tips. Uh, it's even better to try the true end after viewing all the extra contents. Extra contents. Hmm. The puzzles are quite simple. Everybody can solve them. You know, I saw that, um, again, on the Trick and Treat game uh, playthrough. Uh, they also said the puzzles were qu quite simple, but actually I still had trouble with them. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not very smart. Uh, some items will not function automatically. The, image, uh, the game contains flashing images and pictures in high contrast, as well as dark themes and spooky moments. Wow. Uh, again, it's not. I don't think it's too spooky, as far as I know anyway. I read on the store page, or rather, yeah, on the Itch.io page. Um, it's not too spooky, but it's probably a little. And yeah, shift. View, cancel, interact space. Though actually, I think I, I can press C as well. Usually it's Z to like confirm, but I, I, uh, Z or space, but uh, I can press C as well, funnily enough. And yeah, I wonder what, I wonder what change views means. Hmm. Anyway, oh, attention, the story and its world are fictional. There are five endings in the game. Mm -hmm. The extra room can be unlocked when you achieve true end or happy end with the bad crossed out. <laughs> so I don't know, is it actually in happy end? Mm. And uh, collect 10 stars. Okay, I guess I'll try to do that. I mean, the game is short, right? So might as well try to get to see everything. Uh, all the artworks in the game are original. Please do not use or distribute them. Yep. Uh, please visit the blog for book, uh, book reports and fan art and Let's Play videos are welcome. Hooray! Uh, please respect the developers, characters, and everybody in general. Yeah, just respect everybody in the world. Just give someone, uh, or rather give everyone, some uh, basic respect. That's just like a good thing to do. Uh, somnabulism. Hmm, how, you, how do you pronounce that? Somnabulism. Somnabulism. Somnabulism is a sleep disorder in which a person walks while sleeping while uh, without realizing. Oh, sleepwalking. Okay. 
Wow. Uh, Dreamfarer? Okay, so I guess there's a spelling mistake. I think it's supposed to be Dreamfarer. Well, Dreamfarer is a condition in which a person travels through dreams in a state of wakefulness. Okay, so it's like the opposite of sleepwalking. That's the idea. In the future, many, many years from now, dreaming has gradually come to be considered a disease. Hmm. A mental illness. There's no point in dreaming. The humans who have become even-minded and live without feeling through the progress of technology believe so. Dreaming is forbidden. Therefore, all kinds of dream-preventing medicine have been developed. Even vaccines. Interesting. So in these dark nights, beautiful dreams have vanished like the stars. There are no more fantasies or dreams. I don't need to dream. I don't need dreams. Now when you think about it, like sometimes when I sleep, sometimes I don't even have dreams. Or at least, I guess... You don't remember them, right? You always, when you sleep, you always have dreams. It's just that either you don't remember them or you remember very little of them, right? I fell asleep. Then, in a dream, I woke up. Hmm, Polaris? I... Am I dreaming? I guess so. I have control now. But dreaming is a disease, isn't it? Oh no, you're sick. I have to wake up. Since it's a dream. Where are you? Oh my, what are you doing? Who's there? Just walk up to me slowly, okay? You... You have no idea about what would happen if you jumped off the cliff. Oh, I was thinking I was gonna commit suicide. I thought I could wake up if I died in a dream. Oh, I guess, yes. Yeah, I guess Polaris was trying to do that. But it is a dream, right? Or is it? No, that is not the case. I had the same idea, too. Gave me a lot of trouble. When I got transported to very weird places. But, uh, even if it's a dream... You... You were killing yourself to leave. A dream is not something you can have every day. Why are you so eager to wake up? Yeah, forget it. I know what it's like in the outside world. Do you want to know how to get out of here? It's my dream after all. No, well, it is. It's your dream, not mine. Why am I in someone else's dream? Maybe because our dreams ran into each other's. If a bandage... Or rather, not bad. What do you call those? Like, I guess just... There's an injury on his hand, somehow. I wonder why that is. You see? As long as you go up to the top of the building, you'll be back in the real world. And thank you. Wait a second. Are you going by yourself? What's the matter? It may be dangerous for a little girl like you to travel all the way alone. Let me escort you. I happen to have some business to attend to there. What do you say? Hmm. This person doesn't look like a bad guy. But the hospital gown he wears is a bit suspicious. Can I trust him? 
Hmm, okay, we have a choice. So, uh, yeah, again, uh, there was like multiple endings to gather, right? In which case, let's see. Well, I mean... I guess I don't really have a preference. Like, should I trust him or should I not? We don't know much about him, right? This is his dream. This is his dream, apparently. Or is it my dream? I don't know. Mm. Fine. We probably need some help uh, navigating through the dream world, right? Because um, this is our first time. Just, or at least it might, it might not be the it might not be the very first time, but you know, supposedly in this universe, in this world, this society, uh, demonizes dreams. Like you shouldn't have dreams. So we might need some help going through them. Uh, unless he's also a fiction of our imagination, or a figment of our imagination, I don't know. Let's get some help. Well then, let's go together. Ah, I forgot to introduce myself. It's fine, I knew. Sorry, Nani. It's on your gown. Oh. I thought, I thought Polaris was just psychic. Almond. Bed 2, room 201, number 1 mental hospital. Mm, it sure is. Mm, mental hospital. Mm, and again, dreams are diseases, right? So maybe that's why he's in the hospital. What's your name then? Polaris. Oh, like the North Star? Hokuto no Shinken? No, uh, it's a beautiful name. We are friends now, knowing each other's names. You can just call me Almond. We should go now, mister. Mister? Do I really look that old to you? I mean, well... Eh, I mean, I guess in anime. If you're like slightly old, if your eyes are slightly like smaller, then you're considered an old man already in, in anime years. Okay, let's go, Polaris. Uh, now the views can be changed. Press A to view the world through Polaris's eyes or Almond's eyes. Mm, interesting, that's what it means to switch perspectives. Interesting. The things they see are slightly different for various reasons. Cool. That's actually a pretty interesting mechanic. So, oh, huh. okay. He sees jelly jellyfish apparently. Interesting. Stars are shining in the sky. It looks kind of unrealistic. I guess it is. You know, in real life, the space is not all that colorful. It's actually just black and white, uh, but people, you know, scientists, or how you say, how you, what's the plural? Scientists, 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 scientists? Is that the plural? I don't know if I'm saying it right. But, uh, or is it scientists? Or what do you call people who like document, you know, space and stars and planets? Astrologers? Is that the correct term? But the smart people, you know, who like take pictures of space, they like uh, put it through a filter, you know, to make it more interesting. But otherwise, yeah, it's kind of bland actually in real in real life space. Uh, they have a menu, but no items, so I mean that makes sense. System. Oh. oh okay, I, I was a bit confused on how this works. Okay, everything's vertical, that's kinda weird. Uh that sound. That sound effects, step sounds, on or off. Okay, I was wondering if I could make the. Yeah, I was wondering if I could make the dialogue go a little faster. It's kind of too slow for my taste. But oh well, I guess there isn't an option for that. And I guess mm, there's no save, so probably you have to find save points. Interesting. So I wonder, yeah, if I wonder if there's gonna be a branching path in the very beginning if we refuse his help. Right, if we don't meet up with Almond, or rather, well, we do meet up with him, but we don't travel with him, then maybe does it change the ending? I wonder. No. 
It's terrible down there. I don't want to be there ever again, if possible. Hmm, I wonder what down there is. You know, when I, you know, like when you when you die in a dream, like you fall somewhere, or you know, I always when I had dreams, when I had like quote unquote nightmares, um, I always dream myself like falling down the stairs for whatever reason. Like the stairs, I'm climbing the stairs and they're quite slippery, and I always fall down them. And either I Usually, I wake up for an impact, which is, you know, very common. Or, something else happens. And I assume maybe that's what it represents. Like, you, if you fall down this cliff, you will know, like, be transported into, like, a nightmare world or something. Maybe that's where the spooky part comes from. Hmm. The cliff. It's too deep to see the bottom. Uh, don't think about jumping off again. Well. Stars are shining in the sky. It looks kind of unrealistic. Okay, the same thing. She says the same thing. Mm, enter something else now? Oh, so there's something twinkling in the tree. It's too high. Oh, it's a it's a star, I think. Uh jump for it. I can't reach it. Hmm. I often did that when I was a kid, you know, jumping around. Something is up there. I'm not jumping around f for fun. It's, I'm trying to get something. Oh, there it is. So you can't reach it? Alright, I got it for you. Okay. So yeah, I wonder. If we didn't have his help, we probably wouldn't have gotten that star. In which case... Um, yeah, we might not have gotten the like... Uh, because we, we, I remember in the beginning, he said in tips to collect all the stars. That's probably what we should do. Thank you. It's a star. Hmm, I didn't notice it at all. A growing tree. It's full of life. Interesting. Can't interact with the jellyfish now. Full of life, yeah, that's what he says. Guess that's it. Oh, and I see in the bottom left right there, I see crosses. Are they gravestones? Do you, if you jump off, are you gonna be, are you gonna go to a graveyard? Maybe that's it. Hmm. Oh, and I see here. Oh, that's what the top like little star things are for. They're like to uh, show you what you collected already because this one's glowing, right? So we got one star. Interesting. Hmm. No, actually, no, I'm looking at now. I see the little cross things. That's just, I think that's just, those are just part of the uh, UI. It's not, I thought it was part of the background, but it's not. Candle. It's very warm. It's a save point. Yay. Hooray. Uh, let's see. Any, anything I can interact? Darkness to light. The sunlight shines between the branches. It was just night a moment ago, but with a few steps ahead, it's become a bright day. Now well, that's how dreams work, doesn't it? You kind of loses your sense of time. Oh, wait. So you see a candle. But you, you see a candle person? Yo, Alman. You know, little candle. Good evening. Ah, uh, who's the cute girl next to you? A dreaming child. Can I play with her? I guess so. But he seems unable to see you. Oh, it's such a shame. I want to play with kids. They're lovely. It's fine though. Alman is lovely too. You've been in a dream for two years now. It's so much fun to see you wander around here and there every day. Hmm, two years. Is that a compliment? Yep. Mister, who are you talking to? Are you crazy? Hmm, to the candle as you see. Weirdo. <laughs> Candles don't talk. 
But I do. I can talk, even sing. Everything is possible in a dream. Would you like to try? Try what? Close your eyes. There's a jellyfish floating in front of you. Imagine it's there and open your eyes. Give it a try. I guess it's something rare for you. No need. It worked. Ah. How could this happen? Do you see? It's impossible. How can a jellyfish fly through the air? Oh, it's gone. Ah. You can only see what you believe in a dream. Believing is existing. I don't need it. All right, let's go. But I won't be surprised next time when you talk to things in the dream. Sure. Hello, hello. You want to hear me sing? Here I go. La 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 la. Oh, there's also a paper crane there. I say paper crane. Er, got me. Do you also see the sunlight? Yeah? Almond also see sunlight? Can you interact with it? Yeah? The golden sunlight is spreading on the trees like honey. I wonder if sunshine also has the sweet taste. Well, if you believe in that, it will, apparently. And you've been here for two years, so you must know your stuff. Can I capture the paper origami? No? And she doesn't see anything. She doesn't see any, any jellyfish or flying paper cranes. Hmm, anything I can interact. I'm kind of like searching every nook and cranny just to see if there is something hidden. Probably. Oh. Let's just go. Actually, can I can I save? I want to run on the meadow singing. You will be extinguished. Ah, what weird tears coming out of her. Uh, I want to quit being candle. Don't cry. Your eyes are melting. Why, your sis doesn't cry so much like you do. Right, my sis. Can I ask for a favor? My sis left her hand here. And I keep forgetting to give it back. Please, can you do it for me? Hey, you candles are amazing creatures. Just take off your hand. That's weird. Sure. Great. Take it. Got a hand. Got the candle hand. This is a bit crazy though. I'll give it back when I see her. Can I save through you or? I think I'm having cervical spondylosis. Spondylosis? Nah, what? Cervical spondylosis. My head feels like it's falling off. I'll be like that one second cousin on my mom's side if my head falls off. Oh, are we gonna see like a headless candle next? I completely can't understand the candle family. Well, don't you- you're believing in this, right? So that's why they're like... People? That's weird. Yeah, I don't think you can skip the- At least let me not skip, but like, just make it go faster. I'm pressing all the buttons. Eh, eh, press buttons. Press buttons. No, nope, doesn't work. I guess, yeah, it's, the dialogue is just that slow. You know, at least for me, it's slow. Because, yeah, Alman just sees everyone as, like, people. At least the candles, anyway, as people. But she just sees it as a save point. In fact, I should save it right now. It's very warm. Uh, actually, oop, I did I press the wrong button? Save, yeah, I pressed the wrong button, so... I got another save right there, okay. And we can run, whoa, sprint! This way. Okay, oh, it's a place. Interesting. Snack pot. A green bush. Uh, 
we can continue this way, but huh? Can I can I read the sign? What does it say? What's today's special? And also, do I have the is it like a restaurant? Do I have to buy stuff? I don't have any money. Do I have dream money? Green bush? You also just see a green bush? Nothing interesting here? Except the flying paper cranes, I guess. Yeah, pretty much pretty much the same. Can you go inside? We can. Oh. How do I oh I press up. Huh? A box of old crayons which have been used a lot. Many old magazines on the shelf, and a piece of strange looking paper is stuck between them. Sure, take a look. It is said Red is the color of warmth and passion. Probably has always been like this. However, if in a reverse world, can the color of coldness bring warmth to a frozen heart instead? I guess if everything is topsy turvy, maybe. Hmm. Help me, I'm so cold. It's unfinished doodle on the table. Hmm. Interesting. Red should keep you warm, right? But apparently not. Hmm. The red color looks warm. Why does he feel still feel cold? Do something. Now look at it. It's a crayon doodle. Yeah, I guess, yeah, you just have an option. I mean, I, I probably know what to do. Oops, uh, I didn't mean to do that. Ah! Oh no. Uh, slow dialogue. Do something, don't spam the button. Okay. Color it. Color it blue. Yay! Surprisingly, the doodle has changed. Got a star, yay. Okay. Today's special? I can't actually see the doodle, but well, what's on the menu rather is on is drinks, cakes, and ice cream. Amazing. Today's special? Candy apple. Yay. An empty shelf? There's nothing on it. So this is like a pastry shop. Cake decorated with lovely colors. Everything looks very sweet. So it seems unstable. Okay. Also, you look like a, you look like a pot of snakes. Are those snakes in that urn? I don't want to be near it. Hmm. Well, probably Almond sees things differently. Wow. <laughs> The the pot of snakes is actually an anime girl. Amazing. I think he I think Almond sees everything as anime girls. Hmm, he might be he might be a weeb. Uh kids doodle? I have no talent with art. Okay, so he he's not interested in that. Her scissors? Maybe it can be useful? Oh, okay. Hey, uh snake pot. Can I borrow the scissors? Sure. You can have them. No need to bring them back. <laughs> her her hair is just snakes. Is she like Medusa. Cheers. Got some got some sharp scissors. Can I use the scissors or something? No. It's squeaky, which means it should probably be replaced. Though my tongue can't taste anything in the dream, I still can't stand snake pot's cake. Oh. There's no no taste buds? That's weird. She probably hasn't started to bake any bread. Well, I see some bread at the top there, but I guess they're the old bread. Oh, you don't want any moldy bread on the store. Today's special. Candy apple. Hello. Hello, waifu. Morning. Uh, morning, Al. And the, 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 and the little girl over there, what would you like? Don't scare the kid. She can't understand you. What about you? Bread? I'm fine. Do we, need, do we even need to eat in a dream world? Oh, what a shame. 
It's a bit gross to think about how Snake Pot makes the bread. Oh, how how does she make the bread? Does she not use flour and and water? Is that a disgusted look on your face? No, uh, no, no, no! I would never. Well, in fact, I hope you can do me a favor. Can you ask the bees for some honey? I was thinking about making some candy apples, but ran out of honey. Why don't you do it yourself? I have to go through the garden to visit the bees. You know, I'm allergic to pollen. Yeah, your hair was sneezing too. And you bit your tongue, poisoned by your own venom and passed out. I remember that. I'll get angry if you keep talking. I'd better shut up. So, can you do it for me? Sure. Fine. What else can I say? Fantastic. I knew you were a yes man. But it's okay if you can't get any. Just let me know. Okay. We can't taste anything in the dream though, so like... So, I mean, there's no point in eating, right? And you still, yeah, you still just see a pot of snakes. Hmm. Well... She mentioned honey. Is there honey this way? Is there like, can you pick up honey as... Sunlight or whatever? Mentioned, like, he mentioned it, but... Yeah, I don't think you can just pick it up. <laughs> it's not a thing you could do. Yeah, well, let's just continue. See some plants? Oh, you don't, you don't know what the plants are? Oh, okay. I mean, I assume they're just roses, right? What's this? A very beautiful rose. But why is it so big? Because it's a dream. Anything can be anything. Okay. What is almond see? It is, of course, another waifu. Really, he just... He just turns all the objects into waifus. That's what he does. Amazing. She was hoping to have a garden a long time ago. It's not the time for those memories. Hmm. You, the peasant of the messy hair. You'll be very sorry if you dare lay a finger on the flowers. I was called a peasant by a flower. Pleb. I don't want to talk to you. Oh, what a temper. Okay. You just don't want to have anything to do, to do with her. Um, yeah, I guess... Yeah, I was thinking of using the scissors to cut off like a rose, but... Maybe not. We don't need a rose right now. So... Let's just go. Oh, here are the bees. Hello, bees. It's cute, but why so gigantic? There must be a lot of honey inside the beehive. Hmm, you can go this way. That goes to nighttime again. I think we can go in a tree, I guess. I assume B will turn into B waifu. Ha! I wish I could play in the garden. Why not? I can't. Lady Rose in the garden has a very bad temper. She'll be mad at me. Agreed. She's not easy to get along. Do you have any honey? A friend of mine really needs some right now. Yeah, it's a snake pot. Actually, all I do is eat honey. You are a bee, aren't you? Those bees living in the beehive certainly have honey. I saw them, but I'm afraid they'll sting me like hell if I just go asking for it. Um... I've got an idea. If you can talk to Lady Rose and get her to let me play in her garden, I'll ask the bees for you in return. Mm, neither of these are easy tasks. But sure. Great. Hurry up. I think you can do it. Alright. You don't see these bees as waifus. Can't deal with, deal with bees. Uh. And yeah, you also see nighttime there. Okay. Let's go back. I guess doing all of these little side things 
Maybe it unlocks like a n different ending, maybe the true end maybe? Uh, I don't know. If I, well, if I accident accidentally unlock the true end the first time, um, I guess I'll just have to go back and unlock the other ends. I wonder what you do, I guess by not, by not doing the extra stuff, maybe that's how you unlock the other like normal endings maybe? Or maybe there's like bad ends too, I don't know. Oh, let's see. Hi Lady Rose. Well, your neighbor seems to have a little favor to ask about the garden. No, it's impossible. Go away. Please, at least listen. Hmm. I don't want to listen. I'll not give permission no matter what you say. Failed. Well, persuasion check failed. Unfortunate. Uh, throws a little dry. Let me just drink some water first. Yeah, but what do we do, actually? Hmm. We tried persuading her, but that didn't work. If only... Hmm, maybe she would talk to Polaris, but Polaris only sees a rose, so... Very beautiful rose. Hmm. 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 Can I decapitate you with my scissors? No, uh, that'd be gruesome. Actually, I wonder if you can do that. <laughs> There's some horror elements, right? Let me just save first before doing anything uh, drastic. Let me save. Or did I, did I save it correctly? Actually, sometimes I can't tell. Uh, yeah, I did. Okay. Do 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 do. Actually, can I talk to Snake Pod again? Oh, oops. I always forget you have to go up, not eh. up, go eh, eh, oh, eh. up. Okay, because the per per the perspective kind of changes. Because usually it's just left to right, but then there is like this place where you can go up. Hello, Kish. I'll make a lot of cake today, like every day. I'm waiting for the honey. I'll be looking for it. They don't sell at all. Oh, her cakes don't sell? Well, I mean, no one has money, right? Or at least, or maybe they do. They have dream money. What do I do? Let me, let me just, let me just, let me just... Uh, um, can I use items? Yeah, I can, right? Cut. Cut her, cut her head off. Kill her. No, uh, okay, I can't do it. What if, what if I use Polaris instead? Decapitator. Do it. Do it, Polaris. Do it. Do it. Ah, uh, doesn't work. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Can I, can I just get a rose? Um. Oh, that, that, that's interesting. She has different descriptions as well. It says, a strange looking candle. It's out. Okay. I guess, yeah, she doesn't really see as a hand. Oh, maybe she does. She just, she, she, it's just strange looking to her. And uh, a pair of sharp scissors must, care must be taken when using it. I saw on Almond's perspective, actually. It's uh, different. The a candle hand, I should give it back. And I don't know if it's useful, but there's no need to return it. So Almond sees the descriptions differently, or at least he interprets them differently. That's interesting. Hmm, I don't know. Let's see. Do you have any advice? I'm looking forward to it. But I'm waiting for your good news. Never give up. Gambarimas. Um uh, Lady Rose? Well, uh, your neighbor seems to have a little favor to ask about the garden. No, it's impossible. Go away. Uh no. What do I do then? I don't know what to do. Yep. Again, it's kind of, it kind of sucks I can't skip the dialogue. Unless there's a way, I don't know. 
we saw the controls before, right? I, I keep pressing like cancel, like the X, the X key. That doesn't work. Enter space doesn't work. Um, I don't know. Can't go. Can't make it go any faster. Unfortunately. Well, uh, what's in here actually? Oh, it's pretty dark actually. Oh, and uh, this is a candle. Oh. And it's missing. It's missing a candle, or rather. Yeah, it's missing on one side. Well, let's see. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Oh, you look the same actually. I look very familiar. Or uh, maybe a little bit different actually. I think she, uh, I think this candle has like pigtails. I think. Have you seen my little brother? Oh yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. I was wondering. Well, the other candle's gender. I guess it is like a boy, and you're a girl. Even though you look quite similar. The silly boy has my hand, but never brought it back. His brain must have been burnt. Both of you have candle brains, actually. Well, here's your hand. Let me give you a hand there. Anyway. Ah, my hand. Can I have it back? Uh, sure, but I'm curious about the tree hollow. Can I borrow it a bit longer? No prop. I'll light it for you. Yay. Now it has light. Take it. Uh, don't forget to bring it back, though. Great. Yay. Oh. Yeah, I guess Almond doesn't see the stars. But Polaris does. Interestingly enough, I wonder what she says about the candle now that's lit. Oh, it's very warm. That's it. What does he say? I'm, I'm gonna be like, you know, I'm gonna be looking at every single thing. The game is relatively short, so I wanna ex uh, explore explore as much of it as possible. So it's, now it's time to explore. Okay, that's what he says. Well, let's pick up this star. Got a star. Uh, Polaris. You like stars? Yes. Yeah, well, she has, she has like a star hat, right? A star accessory on her hat. So maybe that's why? Because she believes in those types of stars? But Almond doesn't? Or he, at least, at the very least, doesn't see them? Don't forget to return my hand! Well, what if it burns out? Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Well, let's just give you back, right? Have you finished? Yes. Or do I need it for anything else? I'll return it later. Do I need it for anything else? Oh, I actually... Uh... Oh, I can't, I can't. Okay, I can't uh, leave the cave. Or can I... Is there anything else here? No? Okay. Anything else here? No, can you see anything? Checking everything. Oh, okay, yeah. I'll, I guess I'll just give the hand up. Because I'm wondering, can I use the hand for something else? Can I use it to burn something? Maybe Lady Rose? Maybe not. <laughs> Have you finished? Yes. Awesome. Pass it here. Yay. Finally, it's back. Okay, good. Good for you. I'm so happy to have my hand back. Alright. Um, but uh, we still don't know what to do with Lady Rose, however. Mm. Staring contest. Mm. No, okay. I guess we might have to come back, or I'm just missing something, maybe need that honey. In order to get that honey, we need Lady Rose to give permission for the bee to play. Lady of the flowers. Oh well. Hmm. A shepherd? Well, you see this. You see a person. Are you also a dreamer? No. I'm just a shepherd. Oh, I can see you. Of course, because your eyes can see, unlike mine. 
unlike mine. Oh, she's she's blind, maybe? The shepherd is blind. Oh, chicken noises. Bah. This is, is this a cat sheep and then a duck sheep? Nani. Okay, so it's a, it's a duck, not a chicken. I was thinking a uh, chicken, not a duck. Maybe. I also have this fairies too. Interesting. Meow. Then, uh, then again, it sounds like a chicken though. Ba 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 ba. It's like ba 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 ba. Oh, these are normal sheep. That's a cat. Wolf. Woof 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 woof. Uh, what does Almond see? Oh, Almond just sees normal sheep because he just yeah, he just It's just sheep. It's not it's not like weird animals. I don't know I don't know why Polaris sees the sheep as like different animals. I guess maybe it's because that's all the animals she knows and that's the, that's what she like equivalents or equiv how, how do you say? Equivalent. Equivalent? Equivalent. That's what she just sees animals as. As cats, as ducks, as sheep. This she doesn't really differentiate them. Right? Differentiate? Different she doesn't really uh care about the differences. But obviously, Almond is being older, he just sees sheep as sheep. That's it. Nothing special. Good evening. No, oh, good evening. It's been a long time. It should be the first time we meet each other, I suppose. You were much cuter when you were little. I'm just kidding. Well, who's the kid? She seems shy. By the way, have you seen my dog? You have a dog? For years, but he often runs off on his own. Can you find him for me? Sure. Thank you. Well, we did see a dog actually, but not through Almond's eyes, but through Polaris's eyes. Oof. Uh, what's the matter? That animals in this farm are weird. Why is a dog wearing a sheep's clothing? Sorry? All the animals I see are sheep. This is a dog. I heard him barking. Alright, never mind. As long as we find him. Okay. Or maybe not. I was thinking maybe because Polaris is like a young child, right? As, as far as I know. It seems like anyway. That's why maybe she's seeing things a little bit more, you know, weirdly. But maybe not. I don't know. It seems like the opposite though. <laughs> it seems like Almond is seeing like a lot of strange things and Polaris seems to be grounded for the most part, but then again, we see these strange animals, I don't know. Are you also a dreamer? Oh, okay, no. Same dialogue. I can see you. Of course. Hello. Uh, your dog is over there, being a very good boy. That's wonderful. Let me play something for this peaceful night. A harmonica? Amazing. Oh, there's more. I thought it was finished. Well, I think it just loops, right? Maybe not. How long does this song go? Well, I guess I can just stop it right here, but... Hmm. 
That's a lot of improv, I think. Did it loop yet? I think it looped. I think it looped. <laughs> that was all. I don't know, that's a relatively long performance. I thought it was gonna be a short song, but. Yeah, I think it looped. I believe so. Yeah, it's funny because it, it sounds like someone, um, I guess one of the developers is just like, uh, they're just playing their harmonica for fun. Just one of their practice sessions. Or, or did it end now? Okay, it ended now. <laughs> or maybe not. It's still continuing. Okay, now I do what I think. Okay. Anyway, I think I can... I can continue now. Okay. Pop. Oh, okay. There's dialogue. I didn't realize there was more dialogue. I thought I was going to end the song right there. Uh, something has fallen. Yeah. Uh, something has fallen? Star, maybe? Hmm. Omen doesn't see a star. Or rather, maybe he does. Actually, you know, this is a star. But... What? That's weird. When I switch, I see a star, but then it changes, like it changes into paper and then a meteorite. Weird. Weird. A piece of aerolite. Hmm. Interesting. It's a piece of air light, isn't it? It was a twinkling star before it fell on the ground. I know. I think that the stars are most charming when they hang up there, far away in the sky. No, they're always charming. It doesn't matter if they are part of the cosmos, or far away in the sky, or fallen as aerial light. Why do you think so? Even in times like now, when the sky is covered by clouds, even when nobody can see them, they shine as they are, it's like they are always doing their best. Even if a star becomes a piece of air light, it has shined. Therefore, I like stars very much. I see. I think dreams are the same. New pickups? Okay, I was kind of switching between the two and I kind of clicked. I thought I was going to click on the piece of paper, you know, to kind of switch to the piece of paper. I don't know, is that intended or is that a weird glitch? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I think we got a star, right? We got a, like a four star? Yeah. Ba -ba -ba. Let's continue or do you say something new as Polaris? We say the same thing. No, yeah, no, it's the same. Hmm. Alright, let's just go. You can't go back if you continue onward. Some of the items will return to their owners automatically. Are you ready to proceed? Oh no, not yet. Um, what do I do? To... let's see... Scissors. 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 You wanna... you, you wanna use these scissors? No? Can I get some sheep? Uh, 
fleece for, with scissors. No, no, these are not shepherds, like uh, cutting tools. So probably not. Guess I'll go back. Hmm. Would you like scissors? No. That didn't work. That didn't work at all. How do I convince you? I don't know how to convince you to give permission for the bee to play around in your little thingy. And I borrowed the scissors from you, right? I borrowed scissors from Snake Pot. What do I use the scissors for? Gotta use it for something, right? Because it said right there on the screen when you move on, some of the items you won't get back. Or maybe you do keep the scissors. And maybe you don't need to use the scissors, scissors here. Hmm. I don't know. No, uh, you, you say the same thing. You say the same old thing. Hmm, maybe I need to interact with something that I didn't interact with before. Now we don't want to drop back there. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> bush. No. I'm just using the see I'm just using the scissors on every everything, but I don't think that's correct. And you have like a flashback to something as you look at the garden? I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, I keep interacting with the garden, but it's just the same thing. Very sorry. Lady Rose, I just want to talk to you, but I, uh, I can't talk to you with Polaris. She might be able to convince you. She's like an innocent child. I'm like some messy hair peasant. And Polaris is a princess, so maybe she'll be able to talk to you, but she just sees you as a rose, so it doesn't work. How do I convince her? Good news, never give up. Never give up. Is that a hint or do I just be more... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, can I still explore? Too dark. Oh, so I can still explore the hollow even though I don't have the candle? To be honest, I don't know what could be in there. I've never been here before. Maybe it's not my dream. Okay, sorry, I, w I wasn't... Usually I read the dialogue, but I was kind of like... I was like in suspense, actually. Like, I don't know where we're going with this. We saw a star at the end. But the last time when we used a candle, but now that we only see darkness, well... Is it really a tree hollow? How terrible. It's getting too cold now. Oh. We end up in a different place. Ah, interesting. I thought we were gonna be like consumed by like, a big old nightmare monster, but we just end up in a snow globe? There's a bucket on the snowy ground. Upside down. I guess it was b for building the snowman. His nose is frozen to a blue color. Probably because of the cold. <laughs> just kidding. I can see a blurry sight of a castle far away. 
Hmm. And we're only Almond, we can't switch, so... A sign pointing at the castle far away. It's actually a painted background if you take a better look. <laughs> uh, who are you? <laughs> Did you just walk out of my igloo? Why? I don't know. Never mind, it's no big deal. How'd you get hurt so badly? <sighs> there was a terrible earthquake a few days ago. Then a heavy snow, a broken arm and a leg in the disaster. My back still hurts and... Uh, at you, And a bad cold. That's too bad. Bless you. There are a lot of earth earthquakes here, always followed by heavy snow. I'm planning to move over there in the castle when I get better. The castle there? I'm... Well, believing is existing, right? So if we believe that the castle's real, then it will be. I'm sure it'll be nice. Thank you. I'll move there when I'm feeling better. Sure. Please, take this as a gift. Got a star. Okay, we got a star. Away. Hmm. He seems very happy. Okay, but can we not do anything? Is this glass? I guess it is. Um, well, we found another a different place, but doesn't seem like this doesn't this doesn't help me convince Lady Rose still. <laughs> so this doesn't help me. I came from here. It's probably the way back, too. But somehow I don't think I can come back here again if I go. Okay, so we can come here one time. But is there anything else I can interact with? I think I interacted with everything, right? Bucket, too. Can I cut off his nose? No, I can cut off the snowman's nose. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. I, I still don't know what I use a scissor for. Maybe some, for something else in the future, maybe. When I move to the next area, I assume. I don't know. Now let's just go back. Yay. I can't go back? Yeah, I don't need to go inside anymore. You took so long. Uh, sorry, I was appreciating the snow and I didn't notice the time. You're lying. No, I'm not. I totally did see snow. Was there anything inside the hollow? A snowman with a blue nose and a small igloo. It's true, I'm not lying. I've never seen snow. Ah yes, it hasn't snowed for almost a decade in the outside world. Hmm, interesting, so there's no snow in this, in this universe? In the real world? It's always cloudy, sometimes a drizzle, or a rain shower, nothing more. My mom once gave me a snow globe. What's the real snow like, mister? It's, it's white and cold. If you take a closer look, every snowflake is in a beautiful shape, like tiny crystal flowers. Wish I could see it. I'm sure you will have the chance someday. I'm sure you will. Too dark, can't see anything. She doesn't want to go. Now that's that, but still stuck. Still stuck on this honey debacle. <sighs> Can I talk to you once again? Now. The 
Again. Never give up. Just keep initiating dialogue until she breaks. Now this is probably it's this is probably wrong because we keep getting the same dialogue anyway, right? Hmm. What a conundrum. What a conundrum.